So many people, even the Saudi chief, got on social media and said, Mike, forget the script. Beat this guy. Iron Mike Tyson and Jake Paul have clashed again in a live session on social media. What was shocking about this was how much it contradicted the friendliness they showed in the press conference. And with what just happened, it's about to get really crazy. Despite having a press conference that looked relatively friendly and tranquil, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul have returned to the kind of antics that characterized the early weeks of the build-up to their fight, where both fighters appeared on social media to troll each other endlessly and fire shots as well. People who keep saying that this fight is scripted for Jake Paul to win. Well, just come to the fight and you'll see. You're, you're gonna have a lot of pictures of it wasn't just their press conference that showed their friendliness but even their announcements had given a feeling of love and friendship between the two announcing the fight iron mike tyson said i'm looking forward to getting in the ring with jake paul he has grown significantly as a fighter over the years so it will be a lot of fun to see what the will and ambition of a kid can do with the experience and fitness of a goat it's a full circle moment that will be more than exciting to watch as I started him on his boxing journey on the undercard of my fight with Roy Jones and now plan to finish it. The ultimate disruptor. Now they've not just done this in separate videos, but have clashed on a live session that appeared totally different from what their press conference had reflected. Growing up, who was your favorite boxer? Mike Tyson. Mike, right? Fuck yeah. Fuck yes. <laughs> Cause um, I'm going to be fighting him. No way. In July. Dude. On Netflix. Are you fucking kidding me, Dad? Yeah. He's gonna be the hardest hit motherfucker. Well, rumors have it that so much has happened between the press conference and the clash they had on the live session, and it's expected that the trend will continue when they meet in their next press conference. And with this latest development, boxing fans are eagerly waiting for July 20th to grace what could be a revival of the baddest man on the planet. While some have maintained their fearful orientation regarding this fight, many are bracing up for it and cheering Iron Mike Tyson on to do the unimaginable. He even earned more supporters for himself after showing up with different posts of himself, training vigorously and even more energetically than the 27-year-old Jake Paul. His training sessions have been both mind-blowing and explosive. Training sessions. In one of his training sessions, he was neither in the gym nor his trainer, Rafael Cordero. Rather, he was on the road in public, boxing a man much bigger than his trainer who used to be in that position previously. <laughs> Alongside the footage where he was punching a man with a punching pad and a jacket, Mike Tyson captioned the video, Can't wait for this to be Jake. In another training session, all it took was a five second video of Tyson running to give Paul nightmares. I'm coming for you, read the caption on Iron Mike's video, which was posted to his social media accounts. And truly, he has now come for Jake Paul. Though Mike Tyson's coming is set to culminate on July 20th, he showed glimpses of how fierce and brutal D-Day will be when he confronted Jake Paul on a live Instagram session. It was an upgrade of everything their social media back and forth had shown. Mike Tyson made an extra promise to Jake Paul to knock him out. I don't see it. Be pound. How you gonna knock me out? What's the other guy? Anderson Silva. He thinks they're not those little guys. How are you going to knock me out? The short session began with Jake Paul calling out Mike, saying, Where are you at, Mike? Come show them who you truly are. You, fake legend. Not too long after, Mike Tyson joined the call and responded, Hey, little champ, what have you got for me? You're screaming my name like a fatherless child. Jake. Frankly, you are too old to be fighting a guy who's 28. Well, I'm beautiful. <laughs> this was what got to Jake Paul, and he soon reacted saying, 
shameless old man who would rather fight a child than groom one. I'm going to break your head in the ring. I'd ensure I knock you out and end you forever. Iron Mike Tyson then boasted, claiming he wouldn't waste time exchanging words with a little boy. Rather, he would keep training and preparing to pull off one of the biggest upsets in boxing history. I'd keep up my work and ignore you, little boy, and keep working to end you like I started you. I'm your beginning and your end. Get that right into your dumb head. Once he was done doing this, Mike Tyson ended the call, and the fans who were privileged to catch them live were quick to jump on the comment section. Up to try to put an end to me, because that's what all these fighters have been trying to do is end the YouTuber, and if Mike can do that, then he's a hero. Is that, is that the goal here? A fan had insinuated that their antics was totally scripted and not worth the stress. All scripted stuff, not worth focusing on. Get to the ring and stop all this trash. Another queried Jake Paul for being so desperate to gain attention, advising him to focus on the match instead. Go do your fight, Jake Paul. You spend too much time doing irrelevant things. Tyson would sit your butt down and end this nonsense you call a career. The third fan claimed Jake Paul was going to be silenced in the ring and warned him against Iron Mike Tyson, telling him never to try the boxing legend. But while this was the major highlight of their live session, their press conference told an entirely different story. Jake Paul and Mike Tyson had a press conference over a week ago, and it was one to be remembered not because of the usual brutality, hatred, and violence that characterize press conferences, but because of the show of friendship and admiration, so much so that Iron Mike Tyson had to ask if they were truly in a press conference. However, there were glimpses of fierceness, as both Mike Tyson and Jake Paul had fierce warnings for each other, with Tyson telling him the friendliness witnessed in the press conference would be dead once they got into the ring. The official fight rules state that it will be a heavyweight bout where knockouts are allowed in eight two-minute rounds. The ultimate disruptor. That rule was specifically requested by the 57-year-old and approved by Paul due to the entertainment factor. This level of confidence is worth worrying over, but with Iron Mike Tyson almost everything is possible. The two were largely respectful of each other, often choosing to praise rather than belittle the other. It was a far cry from Tyson's press conferences in his prime and he hardly seemed to be taking it too seriously, cracking jokes rather than insults. Tyson and Paul smiled as they faced off for the first time with Tyson throwing a few playful jabs at Paul. Clearly, they both know they're about to make each other a lot of money. It was a no-brainer, a jovial Tyson dressed in all black said. He's the new up-and-coming guy on the scene. I like shaking the sports world to its core, and I'm doing that now. It's just something I want to do. Well, no, um, I, I really like Jake a lot, you know, but, but once he's in that ring, you have to fight like his life is dependent on it because it will be. For sure, I did the shoot around because I wanted more action. Tyson dismissed critics who are skeptical of his age and just how capable he still can be inside the ring. When Tyson was asked to respond to detractors who've been critical in his quest to fight the 27-year-old Paul, he clapped back with composure. I'm beautiful, that's all I can say, said Tyson. The people who said that I am too old to fight wish that they were up here. No one else can do this. Who else can do this? Who else can shut the sporting world down? No one else can do it. You got the both of us, so we're going to do this. We're friends. There's no doubt we're friends. But in the ring, we're not going to be friends. That's just what it is. <laughs> Yo, uh, Mike, how would you like compare Jake to boxers in the 90s? And Jake, how do you foresee bo young boxers like me coming up? You feel me? Jake. Well, Jake is his own person. He's not like any other. Any, any. Iron Mike further commented on how training for his comeback has been going. I'm doing great, but my body is hell right now. I'm really sore. I wish I was playing possum, said Tyson. We're going to see, huh, if Paul can take my power, Tyson added. But Tyson delivered one stern warning Paul's way. Once the punches start flying, will he revert back to his old self? No, I'm not trying to put an end to Paul. I really like Jake a lot. But once he's in that ring, he has to fight like his life is depending on it. Because it will be. YouTuber stuff out and he made it successful and we're gonna see how far it's gonna take him. Who would train me better, Jake or Jake or you, Mike? Who me, definitely me. 
Mike Tyson's words, even while they sounded jovial, still carried the same tone of brutality and viciousness they carried some decades ago during his prime. Shockingly, even always confident Paul admitted to vulnerability and fear on Monday at the Apollo Theater in New York. Older fighters had more heart and balls and weren't afraid, but I think the newer fighters have more skill and technique and are sharper. So I know it's going to be tough fighting against Tyson, said Paul. I know I am going to have to fight through adversity. I know I might even go to the canvas. I'm scared, don't get me wrong, but it's not about the fear of stopping me. It's about going into it even though I am scared, and that's what true bravery is. But Paul also countered his claim saying, I know I will be able to take Tyson's power, he said. I'm a natural born heavyweight. This is what I was born to do. I'm gonna show Mike who has more power because he's underestimating me. Everyone else is underestimating me. I believe I hit harder. It's going to be a firefight and a sprint in there and more entertaining for the fans. And to me, because that's what all these fighters have been trying to do is end the YouTuber. And if Mike can do that, then he's a hero. Is that, is that the goal here? Are you trying to? One major concern from fans has been Tyson's gas tank due to his much older age, even though he is in incredible shape. However, that has been sorted out as taking the round shorter allows for more action and less conserving of energy, something Netflix will be grateful for. Tyson was asked during the press conference if he made demands when it came to the rules, to which he replied, shorter rounds because I wanted more action. If we only have two minutes with the fight going, we'll really be fighting more. Hey, tell these people who keep saying that this fight is scripted for Jake Paul to win. Well, just come to the fight and you'll see. You're, you're gonna have a lot of Paul then added it's gonna be a firefight more punches it's going to be a sprint so it's going to be more entertaining for the viewers the only other change compared to regular professional fights is that both Tyson and Paul will wear 14 ounce gloves instead of the usual 10 ounce handwear knockouts will still be allowed and the result will be based on the judges scorecards should the fight go the distance Tyson barely ever went the distance during his professional career, with 44 of his 50 fights wins coming via way of knockout. He's a lethal knockout artist and doesn't appear to have lost any power in the training clips he has been sharing on social media. With two minute rounds in operation, he will be able to swing freely without suffering for too long between rounds, and Paul has his work cut out. He was game, said Paul. I think this has been a long time coming. We've been calling each other out for years and we finally made it happen on Netflix, the biggest platform in the world. Things just keep on getting bigger and better. This is quite literally history that we are looking at over here. Mike wanted this. Mike wanted it to be a pro fight. Mike wants a war. So I respect that and for stepping up and taking this fight and trying to put an end to me. That's what all of these fighters have been trying to do. End the YouTuber. And if Mike can do that, then he's a hero. Mike. I don't see it. The pound. How you gonna knock me out? The, what's the other guy? Anderson Silva. You think they're not those little guys? How you gonna knock me out? There are a lot of people who see me as an arrogant dude, which I can be sometimes, but I am just having fun and entertaining the world. The older generation wants to see Mike knock me out, but at the end of the day, I also have the kids rooting for me and want to see me end Mike. They call him Iron Mike Tyson, but I am Titanium Jake Paul. A lot of people are doubting me, Paul said. I see the comments saying, if Jake wins this fight, it's rigged because of how incredible he looks. Age doesn't matter. He's a killer. He's a warrior. He's been doing this his whole life, so it's second nature to him. I've only been doing this for four years and at a super high level. On July 20th, I'm going to show the world that I can outbox Mike Tyson and prove everyone wrong and show that I'm going to be the one doing the killing. Let me fight in Mike. I think you're gonna win, but um, he's the competitor that is like the most scary to me. Yeah, he is. <laughs> what if he knocks you out? Like, is that your last one? <laughs> he's not. But what if? You two, you tell me. What if Jake what gets knocked out? Would you cry? Say? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but um. also because I just feel bad and I just hope you're okay. But despite Jake Paul's attempts to brush Mike Tyson's fear aside, it's still very glaring. As a result of these observations, many boxing legends have been out to share their opinions ahead of the fight. While some gave him tips that would aid his survival in the ring against the baddest man on the planet, others told him to avoid the match entirely. 
Mike Tyson has been given a word of warning ahead of his blockbuster fight with YouTuber Jake Paul to be screened live on Netflix. Later this year, Mike Tyson has been told he is tarnishing his reputation by fighting Jake Paul. Because the upcoming clash against Paul will go on both fighters' records, the bout has been branded controversial for several reasons, not least the 31-year age gap between the pair. Former cruiserweight world champion Johnny Nelson MBE has said that Tyson is going to undermine his legacy by participating in the fight. Speaking to Bet Victor, Nelson remarked that the younger audience, who the fight is primarily aimed at, will not appreciate what Tyson has done in the ring and that viewers will just see an old man. It tarnishes Mike Tyson's reputation, Nelson said. All people will see is an old man, an ex-heavyweight champion getting in the ring with Jake Paul. The younger generation will not appreciate the gravitas, the glory days, the success of Tyson. He dominated the heavyweight division. He was tremendous. Nelson believes if the fight was taking place even at the end of Tyson's peak as a professional, there would be no question as to who would win. He has claimed he doesn't want to see the fight, as he's afraid of what the outcome could mean for Tyson. Anybody that knows anything about boxing understands that Tyson, even at the back end of his career when he wasn't the boxer he was, would blitz Jake Paul. But now Tyson is the same age as Jake Paul's dad, Nelson said. I don't want to see it because I don't want people to remember Mike for being turned over by some young kid. If he does lose, it will haunt him for the rest of his life. I hope Tyson knocks him out, but I don't think that's going to happen. The fight has been questioned in various corners of the boxing world, with some probing the legitimacy of the fight, especially since Tyson requested for the rounds to be two minutes instead of three. According to The Mirror, when the former champion was asked why he wanted to alter the length of the rounds, he said, I wanted shorter rounds for more action. If we have shorter rounds, we'll fight more. More action. Paul, who has been beaten by Tommy Fury but saw off former UFC star Nate Diaz in his last two fights, has bulked up to 230 pounds ahead of the fight. Away from all the furore and hype, Nelson admitted the expected $50 million that Tyson is set to receive once he steps into the ring is a hard thing to turn down. But Iron Mike Tyson is doing so much to ignore his naysayers and work harder to ensure he shocks the world on July 20th. Iron Mike Tyson has spoken about the countless sacrifices he's willing to make ahead of the fight and they're really crazy. For Iron Mike Tyson, it appears he believe in the old boxing mantra that women weaken legs and apparently illegal substances do too. Tyson, the former heavyweight champion, revealed he has given up S and meds during his training for his upcoming July 20th Netflix bout at AT&T Stadium against Jake Paul. The 57-year-old provided different timelines for how long he has refrained. I haven't had intercourse for two and a half weeks, Tyson said on the Damon Elliott show. I mean, it's like sick, man. No, no, dude, you 58 years old. Dude, you look like 20 years old. What the hell? What are you eating? Raw meat. Ra like, seriously, Mike. While detailing his training, he also told Forbes, probably six weeks I haven't gotten high or had S. Whether it's been two and a half weeks or six, Tyson is making it clear he is giving up two of his favorite activities as he prepares for his first bout since an exhibition draw against Roy Jones Jr. in 2020. Tyson is a big proponent of using meds with his Tyson 2.0 company selling an illegal substance, but there appear to be different motivations behind why he's refraining from using it. Discipline, doing what you hate to do, but doing it like you love it, he told the outlet. I hate not being able, but I'm doing it like I love it. I hate not to be able to sleep with my wife, and I'm doing it like I love it. However, his publicist told USA Today that Tyson is not using since it is on the banned substances list for the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, which oversees combat sports in the state. Regarding his S-ban, this actually is not the first time he's done so. He seemingly confirmed to Graham Benzinger in 2011 that he gave up S for five years in his prime, albeit with some regrets. Yeah, because I'm an idiot, you know, Tyson said. It's just so stupid. I just went by what people told me. Boxing going to mess you up, girls. Boxing. I entered this profession a total brainless individual looking for glory. Tyson doesn't think that abstinence during training is still for an idiot, and he's hoping it will help him hand Paul just his second loss. Tyson is still the underdog in the fight, but betters have been backing him and forced an odds shift. He opened as a plus 225 underdog against Paul at BetUS, but has since moved to plus 105. Clips of Tyson training for the fight have emerged, both for better and for worse, and he seems confident with the fight less than three months out.
It's just concentrating three times a day, and it's just consistent training. Tyson told Forbes of his training, health, diet, agility, and that's all for now. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Until next time, peace out.